Welcome to the SmartZone Network Controller demonstration series for the SmartZone OS 5. In this series, we will be covering the new features available in SmartZone OS 5. In this demonstration, we will be covering the Historical Client Connection Diagnostics feature where non-active client's data is stored for a period of time and can be viewed in a Visual Connection Diagnostics tools within SmartZone OS 5. So in previous releases of SmartZone Client Connection, diagnostics could only be performed by live streaming of the connection information requiring troubleshooting to be performed in a real-time data environment while the connection of the client is being performed. This new feature provides the ability for failed connections to be stored and reviewed at a later time. The retainment period for these failed records are three days for enterprise and for five days for carrier deployments. So let's get started. So the first requirement we have for allowing for historical data to be restored is we need to go into the zones and enable it from a zone perspective. So in this case, we're going to click on the zone first floor APs and we're going to click at it. Once we've done so, we slide down a little bit and we will see there'll be an option of historical connection failures. Now this is already on. Now the default is to be off, but I turn this on for historical data to, be start, uh, to start to be collected within this zone so we can take a look at it. Once you select this to on, you push OK. Now that this is pushed out to the APs, this data is now being stored within SmartZone and can be reviewed at a later time. Now there's a couple of ways we can look at that data. One, we can go to the Clients tab. And under Wireless Clients, we can see the clients that we have currently connected here. We can select one of those, go down to the More tab and click Troubleshooting. Now this is valuable if that client has successfully finally connected to that environment, but we want to go look at the historical data of that client. Now if the client did not have, was not able to connect or the client is not currently connected to it, uh, this feature or this way of being able to reach this data would not be the best choice. Now alternately, if the client is not connected, or if the user is not currently within the environment, or they were not able to successfully connect, we can go down to the troubleshooting tool and look at them from a historical perspective. Now within the troubleshooting tool, the type of, of troubleshooting is the client connection, and that's by default. And over to the right, you can see now we have the ability to enter in a MAC address or a client host name if we so choose. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a host name and see what happens. So we can see a couple of options here have popped up simply because we've entered in the host name value within this field. Now this is from a historical perspective. If you see the, the graph over the right or the gear over to the right, you can see the default behavior is the historical client. We can alternately do a client connection or connected client and look from a drop down list as well and select that client and again this reflects what we saw earlier when I went to the wireless clients tab. We're going to go back to the historical and see what options we have there. So once we go to historical we look in the drop down list and we can see multiple devices are here simply because there's stored data from users that were previously connected and have disconnected from this environment. So let's select one here by clicking on them and we can see that once that is done we have a historical or a time bar that is represented of that client connection of the stored data that we have for that particular client. We can see also that we have a couple of cones or triangles here and these triangles are representing the failed attempts for this particular client. We can zoom in on them, as you can see here, by simply hovering over it and dragging over, and that gives us a zoom in feature and look at these times more specifically by hovering over them and looking at the time dates or timestamp in which these connection attempts occurred. 
We can select one of these triangles as well, and we can get a visual down below of exactly what happened in this failed attempt. In this particular case, it was a DHCP offer failure. However, you can see that each one of these represent a different time in which a attempt was made and it did fail. All of these were emulated to provide you the ability to see a visual of what exactly took place for this particular client. We can click on the reset zoom and allows us to zoom out and see the time period for this particular client again and allows us to zoom in into other areas if we see other failures within this period. We can also go up and select a different client and I'm going to go ahead and click on a Cindy's iPhone. We'll see a large amount here. This is emulated because we want to see the ability to see if uh, connections that are different other than a DHCP offer and so forth. So as a result, you can see we can click on the exclamation point here and we can see that this is an authentication response failure in this particular scenario. All this data on this timeline represents the data that we currently have stored from a historical perspective of this particular client. With that, that completes the demonstration that we have for the historical client connection diagnostic feature. I appreciate you watching this. Hopefully it was valuable for you. And I encourage you to look at the other videos that we have within this series that provide you detailed information on the new features that are being presented in SmartZone OS 5. Thank you.